my family became stressed that they didn't have money. I was stressed because no one asked what money is. Uh, so, so they had to leave our tribe and uh, go into another tribe to work there and make more of that money. And uh, it was a difficult period of time, but one that made me extremely furious about the world. Um, and uh, I decided to not just stay and wonder about what the world is and get upset at the world, but do something about it, express myself. And I started to make videos, I started to write stuff and so forth. And I started to, for the next 10, 15 years, until this moment, I started to not only learn a lot more about the world, but express myself and tell everybody about it because of the internet, because of this computer, because of this window that I could control and I could reach almost like a big hand, big arm that you can reach on other parts of the world and say, hey, hey, you know, can you listen to me? Hey, and that's what I did. Whatever you see, TV, religion, science, friends, movies, family, etc. will provide the answer. We are live. Let me check. Now I think it's working with Hangouts. Mm. I, was in, I was in college and, and the situation was very shitty for me. So I said I have to do something to to scream out about the, the problems that I see. So I said, I'm going to start to make a series of videos. I didn't think it was going to be a documentary. And I said, I'm going to give up college and I'm going to focus on, on this project because I thought it's very important. So I created the website and everything else. And uh, I didn't expect much, but I put it online. And the next day I got like five or 6,000 viewers and was huge for, for that period of time. And the website crashed. Lots of people contacted me. I think I, I was getting like 20, 30, 50 emails a day without exaggeration. And I was like, I didn't know what happened because you know, people from all around the world contacted me. And it was a bit crazy, you know? And from there on, it kind of like snowballed in, into, into what is now. We have books, we have video books, we have all kinds of tools and we are very active and we are keeping this project alive and uh, over the years I collaborated with many many people. We have a book, we just released a book about this topic, it is written by Dima and uh. <laughs> yeah and I, I'm going to give him the, the opportunity to explain everything about it and we also have Sasha and she traveled around the world for the past 10 plus years and but she travels in a way that is a lot different from the way that most people travel and i think we have a lot to learn from her and we are going to hear from her because she also contributed to the book it's, it's quite ridiculous yeah. to see uh, how certain things ridiculous videos are getting hundreds of millions of clicks and views uh, yeah this this society name is that and I remember having a conversation with a guy about the Big Bang Theory, and he started getting really mad at me because he, he doesn't believe in that. And uh, so, so the main pressures here is just like a traditional family, traditional living style. What is what people base um, their judgment on, like of other people in terms of whether they're doing good or not, it's just being more and more shallow. So it's if it's not, if they have a place to live, then it's what they're wearing, or if they say the right words. Mm -hmm. or... We have uh, Yov and Aaron and Georgi and Seb. I was always um, looking for something like from, <laughs> because I told you, I was always questioning the kind of system. I, I never um, fit into that system, in the trade system. Um, felt there's something real we, we cannot continue like we do now. If your parents basically <laughs> fuck up and they suck and they're poor and shit, then you're automatically excluded from like good works. education. You invented, you created Mastodon. Um, what is this Mastodon for those who have no idea what it is and why did you create that such I'm a I'm also an academic at University College London 
And the reason that you've invited me is I've got a long-standing interest in um, psychiatric drugs in particular. Um, who better to talk about the internet than, than Cory Doctorow? And Cory, thank you for accepting my invitation. And, uh, it's uh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. My curiosity, curiosity uh, went to the internet pipelines into other people's heads and I realized that I'm not the only one. There are many human beings out there who are thinking kind of like me. And I started to grow this kind of mindset and uh, question even more the structure of our society. And what I discovered is not only shocking, it's stupid. It's stupid and moronic and laughable and it's frustrating that you cannot explain it to other human beings. Most human beings have ears, most human beings have eyes, most human beings have arms and legs and a mouth, but they cannot grasp these simple messages. What I'm trying to explain is that human beings created a world of imagination. They started to imagine stuff. The same way that they imagine God, that they imagine jobs. The same way that they imagine jobs, they imagine ownerships, the fact that they own stuff. They think that this is mine, this is yours. And they have all kinds of papers to prove to you that it is theirs. You're on. There we go. Final signature, done. And you ask them, this is just a piece of paper. Why is this so important? How is that proving? And they say, just because it's a bit of paper and it's proving that it's mine. The same way that they, they say, this is just a book. It's called the Bible. It's, it's the word of God. That's why religion exists, because paper. Because paper and language, because paper and words, because paper and thoughts. It's a bullshit idea. It's like a game. And we all play in, in, into this game. And I'm surprised, but how many people don't really pay attention to that or even question that? So, uh, kind of fairy tale in which everyone is believing. There is no value into that. If one day we just stop believing it, money will disappear, that's it. All of these ideas that people have in this imagination with, with economies, you know, isms, capitalisms, communisms, you know, imperialisms, kings and queens, you know, and countries and all kinds of rules and laws, all of these things, all of them are nothing more than just trading, trading stuff from one place to another. So this trade idea mutated in our world in, in ways that uh, became completely confusing for, for everybody. And no one seems to understand it anymore. Uh, just because they focus too much on money, 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 or any other currency. But in truth, everything is trade in our world. Everything. Pretty much everything.